Marine Iguana The Marine Iguana, Amblerinchus cristatus, also known as the Sea Iguana, Solporter Iguana, or Galapagos Marine Iguana, is a species of iguana found only on the Galapagos Islands. Unique among modern lizards, it is a marine reptile that has the ability to forage in the sea for algae, which makes up almost all of its diet. Large males are able to dive to find this food source, while females and smaller males feed during low tide in the intertidal zone. They mainly live in colonies on rocky shores where they bask after visiting the relatively cold water or intertidal zone, but can also be seen in marshes, mangrove and beaches. Large males defend territories for a short period, but smaller males have other breeding strategies. After mating, the female digs a nest hole in the soil where she lays her eggs, leaving them to hatch on their own a few months later. Marine iguanas vary in appearance between the different islands and several subspecies are recognized. Although relatively large numbers remain and it is locally abundant, this protected species is considered threatened, primarily from El Niño cycles, introduced predators and chance events like oil spills. Appearance Marine iguanas have a thick-set body and relatively short, robust limbs. Adults have a row of spines extending from the nape, along the back to the tail. Males have longer spines, and larger bony plates on the top of their head than females. There are some differences in the spines depending on the island and they are most elaborate on Fernandina subspecies Cristatus. The scales on the top of the head of the marine iguana are quite conical and pointed. Although less extreme, the same can be seen in the Galapagos land iguanas genus Canolophus, while these scales at most are slightly domed in other iguanas. Overall the skeleton of the marine iguana shows many similarities with the Chuckwallis genus Sauromolus, but this is an example of homoplasy, as the two are not closely related. Marine iguanas are not always black, the young have a lighter colored dorsal stripe, and some adult specimens are gray. Dark tones allow the lizards to rapidly absorb heat to minimize the period of lethargy after emerging from the water. The marine iguana lacks agility on land but is a graceful swimmer. Its laterally flattened tail provides propulsion and the row of spines along the back provides stability, while its long, sharp claws allow it to hold onto rocks in strong currents. Adult males vary in color with the season, becoming brighter when breeding. There are also major differences in the color of the adult males depending on the subspecies. Males of the relatively small southern islands of Española, Floriana and Santa Fe subspecies Venus Decimus and Trilmici are the most colorful, with bright pinkish red and turquoise markings. In comparison, those of the relatively small northern islands of Genovesa, Marchena, Pinta, Wolf and Darwin, Jeffreyzi, Hayampi, Seamani and Nanus are almost all blackish without contrasting markings. Other subspecies tend to resemble duller versions of Venus Decimus and Trilmici, or are blackish with markings in pale yellowish, ochre, greenish or grey, sooty to near white. It is suspected that the exact algal diet of each population plays a role in their colour. Females show much less variation between the islands and are typically dark with less contrasting colours than the males. In most places, females do not change color conspicuously between the breeding and non-breeding season, but at least on Española subspecies Venus Decimus, they do assume relatively bright male-like colors when nesting, which is possibly related to their need of defending the nest from other females on an island with few suitable sites. Size Marine iguanas typically range from 12 to 56 cm in snout to vent length and have a tail length from 17 to 84 cm. There are major geographical differences, as iguanas from large islands tend to grow relatively large as adults, while those from small islands are smaller in size. In one study, the average snout to vent length on Wolf and Darwin Islands subspecies Jeffreyzi was about 19 cm, and those on Genovesa Island subspecies Nanus were only slightly larger. In comparison, Santa Cruz marine iguanas had an average snout to vent length of about 35 cm, and those of Isabella and Fernandina Cristatus, were only slightly smaller. Other subspecies were of intermediate size, in between the small wolf, Darwin and Genovesa iguanas and the large Santa Cruz, Isabella and Fernandina iguanas. In another study, the largest were from western San Cristobal Island Mertensee, followed by those from Isabella, Floriana, eastern San Cristobal Godzilla, Fernandina Cristatus, in part, and Santa Cruz Hassi. The smallest by far were from Genovesa Nanus, but this study did not include any marine iguanas from Wolf and Darwin Islands. The remaining island populations were of intermediate size. The maximum weight of adult males ranges from 12 kg on southern Isabella to 1 kg on Genovesa. 
This difference in body size of marine iguanas between islands is due to the amount of food available, which depends on sea temperature and algae growth. Marine iguanas are sexually dimorphic with adult males on average being significantly longer and weighing about twice as much as adult females. However, the largest females are only about 20 to 40% shorter than the largest males. There is a correlation between longevity and body size, particularly for adult males. Large body size in males is selected sexually, but can be detrimental during El Niño events when resources are scarce. This results in large males suffering higher mortality than females and smaller adult males. The mortality rates of marine iguanas are explained through the size difference between the sexes. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy the video please like and subscribe.